Hey, what's up everybody? We got a different millet hole to show you today. Hopefully you can hear me over all the all the bugs. Um, this is a pond we call the beaver pond. A lot of you have probably hunted it with us. It's a, it's a sweet little hole. Um, I came in here with some millet. Uh, the water is down as far as as far as we can get it down with the makeshift water control structure that we got. If it dries up some more, I'll get some more millet uh, in here. Um, but uh, we gotta, we just gotta deal with Mother Nature on that, on that part. Um, I just put some millet on some of these mud flats and stuff that the water came off of in the last week, where the smart weed and wild millet hasn't established itself. So um, there's wild millet um, established in here, and it's just, it's just all over. I'll try to walk through here without falling. We call it the Beaver Pond for a reason. There's beavers pretty bad in here um if it wasn't for them we'd be able to get more water off but they also uh keep the water in at times so it's a double-edged sword um, without being able to get equipment in to this very easily we just kind of fight with the beavers on their dam to get the water off and try to keep the water off um and then um, we kind of let them do their thing. And we, there's a big drainage actually flows into this. I'm not sure how many acres it is. It's probably, it's, it's probably two and a half, three acres. It's probably about one and a half to two the way it is right now. But then when it's got water in it, it backs up to at least twice its size, if not three times its size. And the drainage, the drainage is huge on it. That comes into here so getting the water off takes a long time because there's uh ponds stacked up above it that are all flowing into this one so uh with the little pipe we got it takes a while but there's a lot of this little sedge grasses and stuff which i don't like in some of these some of these areas but let me get over here uh oh, look at that that's already cut it out and that'll be that head will be right at the water level um so, and then there's just smart weed everywhere. This, this, the beaver pond has more food in it naturally than uh, any of our places probably. Um, we have a lot of ponds that ha do get a bunch of smart weed, which that's my favorite. But a lot of our ponds um, are there for a reason and that's for cattle, not for ducks. So um, cattle, if you didn't know, love smart weed. So we'll have a few flats that, uh, on, a, on some big watersheds that are just loaded with smart weed and uh, the cattle will just destroy it. Now, not all of it, obviously there'll be plenty of food left for the ducks, but if there's a good looking crop, they'll tear it up good. So here's, here's some, here's some more head, heads poking out there if you can see that. Uh, bunch of, bunch of good food. Um, We've been fighting the fight to get the water off off of this actually for oh gosh a long time now um we put the put the new pipe in just to see how it would work and then the spring rains the pipe's just been running the whole time so it's down as far as it can go now you can tell where we got the water off early because this stuff is just super established um so that's just gonna be full of millet heads wherever there isn't isn't wild millet there's smart weed like this right in here and then there's good smart weed rafts along all that so um that'll be flooded it'll be flooded all the way um last year we actually hunted it early season with just a couple guys and we stood in these trees back here we were all the way we were actually probably right in here hugging behind these two and we were we were we were ankle knee deep in water um so can't put my camera around but you can see all that all that be underwater um all wild wild millet and smart weed so what we're thinking is we'll probably put a blind somewhere back up in here this year because getting in here is terrible just with the moisture 
um, and the beaver runs and everything. You just, it's tough to get equipment in here. So we'll probably make a semi-permanent blind. We had one on the other end of the pond, but this is on the west side. And uh, there's not many days you get with an east wind that are good for hunting this location. We have done it. We've had a northeast wind a couple of times. We've came in here and just wrecked the mallards late in the season. So um, we'll see. This sits right, right in the middle of, around the edge, I guess, of a soybean field. There's no, another soybean field on the other side of this, or excuse me. There's another pond on the other side of this that the birds roost on a lot. Um, so we don't hunt it too much. Um, I'm gonna go check it out and see what the water level is on that. It does not have much natural food. It is just full of cattails and lily pads. So um, it's always been like that. The ducks, the ducks like it for cover. If I can get some food in there, I will. Um, we'll see. Just trying to get a few more food options for the ducks. Try to get a couple more hunts out of out of uh, some of our properties. Um, and that's the case you know that just makes our job easier and uh, makes better hunts for you guys so we will probably show you some updates on this i'd i might try to do some math and once everything heads out and try to try to see how much food is actually in here because it is uh it's tremendous so anyways there's uh there's a little update on the beaver pond some of you know about it some of you have seen us post about it we've posted a lot about it without you even knowing probably so just trying to uh, give more details. And uh, so when you guys do come home with us, and we mentioned we're going to the beaver pond tomorrow, you actually know what that means. So be pretty sweet. But anyways, on to the next one. Have a great day.